have already talked about the startup policy brought in by the government of India in another video. But let us talk in this video about how to set up a business. I mean, it's, it sounds very simple, but one has to go through a certain process to start a business. First of all, you have to understand that what kind of legal status you want to give to this business. You want it to be a proprietary company, a partnership, LLP or a private limited company or a limited company. Your decision will depend upon various factors. If you are alone, want to do the business with your own capital without involving any partnership, any stake from anyone. And if your business size size is going to be small, manageable by you, you can just start with as a proprietary concern. In case of a proprietary concern, what you need is to give a name to that business. You apply for permanent account number which you already have as a proprietor. If you don't have, then apply for your PAN. With that PAN number, you open a bank account in the name of your proprietary business with your name as a proprietor and obtain all other kind of permissions and licenses in the name of the proprietary business like service tax registration, sales tax registration with VET, uh, registration, the profession tax and so on and so forth. But if you are more than one, two, three people together, and you want to have a limited liability for each. Then you have an option of limited liability partnership, that is LLP. But if you are few family members, you do not have any concern of unlimited liability of each other to be shared, you can form a partnership firm, which is registered as a partnership firm with the register of firms. LLP, I already said, but then if you want to raise capital from the people who are not necessarily be your partners, who may not manage the business with you, then you have to form or give a legal status to your business as a limited company. It can be a private limited company or it can be a limited company. It can be a closely held company or it can be a public limited listed company. That all again depends on how much capital you need or what is the size of your business. So after having decided that okay, you want to form a company, say a private limited company, then in that case you have to first decide the name of that company or rather have two, three alternate names and apply to the registrar of companies for the availability of the name. Once the name is made available to you, which is a process of three to five days, you prepare a memorandum and articles of association where the memorandum means what will be the object of this company prime object and the other object which the company may pursue in future and the other one is the article under which the company will be covered. Most of the provisions of these articles are already listed in the Companies Act. The latest Companies Act is Companies Act 2030 which is applicable today in India and various modifications and amendments to that and its rules. After filing that memorandum of association and memorandum of article along with certain form for the directors, the registered office and some other forms, 
with the registrar of companies again in a matter of a few days or maybe a week 10 days you get the registration certificate which becomes the primary document like a birth certificate for this company certificate of incorporation again the process is the same that after the certificate of incorporation and with a copy of memorandum article you apply for the permanent account number for income tax in the name of the company for which there is a standard form to be signed by the designated directors or the authorized directors and to be applied online after having received the permanent account number you are fully geared and ready for opening a bank account to fulfill their KYC norm as per the bank KYC norms for a company you have to provide a certified copy of the memorandum and articles of association certificate of incorporation of the company the list of the directors the address proof of the company the address proof and identity proof of the directors the bank account proof and your account is open so once you got the company registered you obtain the permanent account number you got the bank account opened you are now ready for all kind of registrations to do your business depending upon which business you are in if you are in service industry you need to take a service tax registration you have to take the profession tax registration of that state in which the company is if you employ people more than other than your directors you have to obtain the profession tax registration as an employer if you have some services in which you will be buying and selling the goods you have to obtain the vat the central uh, sales tax central vat and state vat if you manufacture something you might have to obtain the excise registration the factory license the shop and establishment registration and whole list of 8 10 kind of registrations which are initially required to start your business what along with this simultaneously you should do to do business in india because today still we are not 100% in digital mode you have to simultaneously print the letter heads of the company so as to give the authentication you have to prepare the rubber stamps of the company as still some bank some companies some customers they insist for your rubber stamp so as to prove the authenticity of that company and all this can be simultaneously done with this you are ready to do your business 